Hello my friends, it's time to start off 2021 with some serious do-goodery. But I need your help. Let's get kids on bikes. I want to start off with a quick story about how I got my first mountain bike and consequently fell in love with cycling. I was about 10 years old and participating in a local running race. It was a charity race, raising money for cancer research. And I went door to door asking for donations from my neighbors. Turns out I raised the most money and after the race, I was awarded a brand new cherry red Diamondback Sorrento. It was without a doubt the most exciting moment of my life up until that point. I had never owned anything so nice. I rode that bike everywhere, up and down my street a million times, and even ventured out to some of the nearby trails. It was this bike and those tiny adventures that inspired a love of riding bikes. Now I want you to take a moment and think back to your very first bike. No, seriously, close your eyes and envision the moment you took off on your bike and how exciting that was. The freedom, the fun, the bloody shins. Most importantly, our bikes gave us the ability to explore our worlds like never before. I owe so much to that first bike and I wanna be able to share that experience with as many kids as possible. So here we go. We're gonna raise a ton of money, but we can only be successful with your help. Yes, you. So what's the prize? Drum roll. We're raffling off a brand spanking new Priority 600X with Pinion Gates Wren and my signature Get Out There logo. Can you believe it? This is the epic adventure machine that I helped create with my friends at Priority, and it is so sweet and it could be yours. Before I get into the details about how to win this bike, I wanna give you a little backstory as to how this idea came to be. I called Dave at Priority a month ago and asked if he'd be willing to donate a new 600X. I was a little unsure of what he'd say because this bike is in huge demand and has a price tag of $3,500, but being the awesome guy that he is, he didn't even hesitate. Of course we want to be part of this, he said. So now that we had the prize, I needed to find an organization to raise money for, and I didn't have to go far. You all know that super awesome, kind, loving, and adventurous woman, Dana, right? Well, nine years ago, she created a foundation in honor of her late brother that is all about giving money to nonprofits that get kids on bikes. Perfect! So, instead of hearing me talk about how great Dana's foundation is, we should bring Dana in. What do you think? Dana! <laughs> hey look, it's Dana. She just, she just happened to be downstairs. What's up, Dana? Hi, Ryan. I'm gonna let you uh, have the audience. There great. you go. Go. I need the audience. <laughs> you do it! I do. Okay, so, you know, 2020, folks, was rough, as we know. And you know, there, there's been a lot of loss. Loss of life, loss of business, loss of everything. But this is what we want to do. Um, we were not able to have our fundraiser. And I have a foundation for my brother. That's what this is all going to be about. But it was rough, you know. The restaurants are the ones that raise the money. And in April, that usually happens. We were closed. So we didn't get to raise the money. There are a lot of groups that we give money to as a foundation. And they're small, they're little, and they need our money. So, well first, let me tell you a little about the foundation. Um, it's called the KRD. My brother's name was Kirk, and I called him Rocky. My brother and I had a really special bond. I mean, as kids, you know, we played together, we shared bunk beds, we were riding our bikes, scooping around, and then um, he needed me, and uh, I gave him a kidney in 2006 and it really even made that bond more special and for five years he was able to just really get out there and rip it up when he passed away I was broken hearted I still get chills today but you know what a broken heart only means there was a lot of love and I had to find something to do with all that love. So this is what we're doing. I decided to focus on the things that he was really passionate about. And it was really being outside, getting kids outside, 
and enjoying nature. That makes us all so much better people. So we have been able to raise money every year. This is the ninth year of the KRD Foundation. We generally try to raise about $20,000. That's small. That's small in the land of nonprofits. But when you can give $1,000 to a group, that keeps them in business, that keeps them there. So I'd like to tell you about some of the organizations that we generally fund. One is Community Cycles of Boulder. They have a kids holiday bike giveaway. They've given away thousands of bikes and helmets and locks to kids. Like it changes their life. We also donate to Assisted Cycling. This helps kids with mental or physical challenges be able to go on trips, family day trips together. Like sometimes that's so hard. We also have supported, these three groups are very similar. Trips for Kids, Boys and Girls Club of Pueblo, that's where my brother was, and also Blackfeet Nation in Montana. We have been able to raise money to get bikes to them to start programs where they have bikes that kids can actually ride, but more important is to maintain those bikes. We all know that sometimes when you get a flat tire or your chain comes off and all of a sudden, if you don't have the resources or the skills, that bike's just leaning against the shed. So we really focus on maintaining those bikes so that we can keep kids out there and keep it happening. I've heard about a new group, the uh, Navajo Guide. They're looking at n launching a bike packing program and from bike packing, I know how much that can change your life. And so bottom line is we want to get kids out there outside and put them on bikes, put them out in nature, put them with our friends, put them with our families and change their life because we want to make the world a way better place. Yay, Dana! <laughs> okay, do you know what time it is? It's raffle time. Oh, raffle, raffle, you're gonna win a bike. It's pretty simple. The more raffle tickets you buy, the greater chance you have of winning. The smallest amount is 10 bucks for 10 tickets. Not bad, right? And this is big. You can up your chances of winning by sharing the fundraiser page. Bam! Oh, and you're from Australia like my friend Drew, or Sven in Germany, or Kale in Sweden, or Javier in Honduras. That's all good. You can participate too. Dave will ship the bike anywhere in the world. You just have to pay the import taxes and fees. If it's a US winner, the shipping will be free. The winner also gets to choose the size of the frame, small, medium, or large. And I will link below in the description all the details about the fundraiser and how to donate. All right, I'm really excited about this. And I know that we can raise a lot of money and this might sound crazy, but I'm setting the goal at $30,000. That's a hefty number, but I know we can do it. But again, I need you to share, share, share like you've never shared before. Let's start off 2021 with some magic and make this super successful. This campaign will run until January 30th and the winner of the Priority 600X will be announced on January 31st. Now, who wants to win a rad bike? You do. Thank you.